So, uh, good evening to all of you. So, we have to see like uh, one that we have to talk about uh, air to surface to air missile. Surface to air missile, very good evening, very good evening everyone. I am okay beta. I am okay and uh, not too much okay, but I am okay. I will take your class up to 7 o'clock, not too much. So, surface to air missile that we are going to discuss about and uh, especially uh, we'll have to see like uh, in the surface to air missile uh, first it is an uh, astra missile and uh, another it is sorry akash missile then we have a Trishul missile and another it is I said that uh, Matri. These are the famous I said that surface to air missile and you can remember in the form of I said that A T M A T M. When you will get ATM machine, if you have got the ATM machine, so if you are on the surface, you will start flying in the air. If you are on the after getting the ATM machine, means lots of money, then the from the surface, you will start moving in air. That it is I said that surface to air missile. So, surface to air missile, if I am talking about Akash. ATM, Akas, T, Trishul, M, Matri missile. Clear is surface to air missiles are, I said that Akash missile and I said that Trishul missile. Trishul missile you can remember 3 means 3, 3 means 3 and this is a 3 square and you can say that it is a 9 kilometer range. The range is 9 kilometer surface to air and in the Akas you can also remember that this 3 here it is 3 become 0. So, 330 kilometer is the range of range of this Akas missile. This Akas missile range is 30 kilometer and it is a surface to air and we should not in a smaller range we should not discuss how much stage 1 stage 2 stage and like this. They are very smaller the fuel is accordingly utilized. So, Akas missile surface to air and then Trishul missile surface to air that it is I 3 say you can remember like 3 square that is 9 kilometer it is surface to air if any kind of I said uh, uh, aircraft it is coming F 16 from I said that F 16 is coming from uh, I said uh, Pakistan side then we can with the help of this Akash missile we can destroy it. So, anything which is coming in the air we can be able to destroy with the help of Trishul missile and Akash missile. So, perhaps it is clear to you and uh, if I am talking about surface to air 
तो सरफेस टू एयर तो सरफेस कैन बी ऑफ सरफेस ऑफ शीप ऑल्सो शीप हैज वेन द इन द ओशियन देर इज इन शीप इज देयर एंड दैट शीप कैन है सरफेस इट कैन बी ऑल्सो कंसिडर एज एन सरफेस सो आकाश मिसाइल दैट आकाश मिसाइल इज ऑफ टू वर्जन वन इट इज ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ एंड देन इट इज आई सेट दैट सरफेस ऑफ शीप सरफेस ऑफ अर्थ एंड सरफेस ऑफ शीप सो आकाश मिसाइल इट इज आई सेट दैट थर्टी किलोमीटर रेंज एंड त्रिशूर मिसाइल नाइन किलोमीटर एंड इट हैज इन टू वर्जन आकाश मिसाइल I said that it is in the. I said that it it is army is having and also navy is also having. But uh, and both are having. I said that 30 kilometer range, 30 kilometer range. But our Indian navy, but Indian navy is not happy. Is not happy with the. not happy with the performance of performance of akash missile especially indian navy i am talking about especially nav indian navy and it has been rejected it has been rejected as far as the navy is in concern as far as the navy is in concern so if you are watching i said that then the indian government if i said that ministry of defense especially under this drdo and i said that french together have made an a maitri missile m a t r i maitri missile for maitri missile for indian navy so this way we have i said that uh, three missile under surface to air important important surface to air missile important surface to air missile or if i have to see like it is akash trishul and i said that maitri so maitri why did maitri came that you know that it is i said that akash has a two version one it is i said from the land another it is from the ship and then the indian navy is not happy with the i said that akash version into the ship therefore they have rejected it and another it is coming of maitri so you can be able to see like akash missile that is of 30 km range and uh, and another it is an trishul missile it is of i said that 9 km range understood it so and uh, one maitri which is i said that uh, short range surface to air missile which has been formed i said that along with the i said that french form and indian drdo surface to uh, short range surface to air missile so these are the missiles which have been formed by i said that and all are jo if it is very low range it is a short range it is known as srsam so this way we have been able to see i said that surface to air missile surface to air missile and here we can be able to see like i said that uh, surface to air missile akash trishul maitri it is clear to you and then trishul is of naval if i said that and akash is of right now land and the maitri is of also naval 
navy you can say the Indian naval force. Next one it is I said that uh, I said that air to air missile air to air missile. I said air to air missile is generally aircraft and uh, generally aircraft aircraft used to carry such missile aircraft like we have I said that uh, MiG 29 we have like I said that uh, I said that Sukhoi 30 MKI and uh, we have like uh, aircraft like uh, Mirage 2000 and uh, thereafter now we are going to have Rafale that is and another it is uh, Tejas. Tejas is only Indian, Tejas is only Indian or indigenous understood it. So, MiG 29, Sukhoi 30, Mirage 2000 and the Rafale when it will come. So, these are the aircraft those who can carry air to air missile, they can carry air to air missile. So, air to air missile will be carried by this you know that uh, if you have seen the aircraft MiG 29, Sukhoi and all, if they are like this, there the wing is there and below the wing, below the wing missiles are attached, below the wing missiles are attached and when it is I said that flying, so along with that they can carry I said that 2, 3, 4, 5 means uh, if they are able to carry 3, 4, 5 means they can carry lots of missile and in one go they can go and I said that strike 4 to 5 regions with the help of I said that uh, this uh, uh, Akas or uh, the, with the help of this air to air missile. If I say that if any craft is this is the land, this is the land surface. If it is an uh, aircraft is I said that uh, if an uh, aircraft is flying and uh, if you can be able to see like if the aircraft is flying, so they can, uh, they can strike other aircraft and they can also strike any area on the, the land. It means I said that if I am talking about air to air missile at the same time also I am talking about air to surface, air to surface or I am also talking about if it is ocean then air to sea, air to sea. So, this aircraft who are carrying some missile they can target any air to air they can target air to surface and they can target any in the what I said that C air to C. So, if I am doing I said that this air to air missile what does it mean? It is uh, also meaning of what uh, air to I said that uh, surface and it is also air to C. So, let us watch out this air to air to air missile and especially I said that in the there are I said uh, Astra, Astra another one if I am talking about Mika. Meteor, Astra, Mika, Meteor. I said that Astra, Mika, Meteor. Astra, Mika, and there is an a Meteor and a Scalp. So there is an Astra missile. Here it is. There is an Astra missile and they, they used to uh, the, the, it is uh, carried by MiG 29 these are the here it is attached and they are flying 
they are releasing Astra missile understood it. So, these are I said that uh, different kind of missiles are there carried from the air air to air, but this air to air missile can be also considered as an air to surface and it is also considered as an air to sea. So, Astra missile A, M, M and one we will see later on and that is I said that is scalp. So, we can say that like A, M if I have to make an a mnemonics A, M, A, M means in the morning time A, M. I said that morning time 8 am, 6 am, 7 am like this morning time we get lots of air, we get lots of air, we get lots of air. In the morning time in the am we got lots of fresh air. So, with the help of this air to air missile you can remember like it is am, a for astra, m for I said that mika and M4 Meteor, M4 Meteor, M4 Mika, M4 Meteor. They are the two M you can remember. I said that AM2. So, I said that uh, Mika and Meteor. One you should remember scalp. Air to air missile, that is, I said that the first one is Astra. Better to say that what are the quality the qualities if I have to see the qualities of these missiles if I say that they are considered as I said that beyond visual range air to air missile. It is considered as a beyond beyond visual range air to air missile beyond visual range air to air missile B V R double A M means I, I said that possibly when it is hitting in the upper atmosphere there can be in a cloud there can be in a foggy condition and the visibility is not clear even then they can target even then they can target means I said that this air to air uh, missiles are wo can work in all weather condition can work in can work in all weather condition. If it is flying over there, so I said that beyond visual range air to air missile means in the atmosphere beyond visual range you cannot see even then that target can be I said that taken by this B V R A A M beyond visual range air to air missile. So, these are the qualities if I am talking about that the these missiles that they can or work, but at the same time I said that another it is radar and this radar is on I said that it is on aircraft, it is on aircraft. Aircraft is carrying the missile and these missiles can attack anywhere beyond visual range air to air missile and it is also known as I, it can be I said that it is it is quality can be like I said that can work in all weather condition whatever the condition is. And another it is a radar, radar means this radar will be on the aircraft means there is a radar, radar generally uh, function is I said that identify any. Uh, what is the job of radar? Suppose I said that there is an I said that one aircraft in the air and at the back of aircraft at the back of aircraft uh, there is at the back of aircraft there is a small radar is there and this radar used to I said that uh, they used to release the frequency, they used to release the radio frequency and it is very fast with the speed of light it moves and then it can strike any I said that maybe it can strike this is an another aircraft A2 
and there can be an I said that one drone can be there, I said that anyone drone can be there, maybe UAV anyone then he can and maybe in a one it is on the ground um, uh, tank is there. So, this radar will be able to find able to find this I said that tank on the surface they can be able to find any drone flying I said that and also they are able to find any aircraft. So, they are able to find find all these I said that uh, tank, drones or I said that any other aircraft or any other which is I said that missile which are coming in the I said that any missile which are coming in the air. Any other I said that uh, missile if any missile is coming that can be also detected. So, who is doing radar? So, the radar is finding the tank on the earth anything on the earth and the drone and the whatever that can be there and then any other aircraft and another it is I said that missile and they can release this this aircraft MiG 29 Sukhoi 30 Mirage 2000 and the recently which is going to come it is I said that. Uh, 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 Rafale, all this can carry nuclear also missile, nuclear missile, this 4 MiG 29, Sukhoi 30 and I said that Mirage 2000 and the Rafale which is going to come, all they can carry nuclear missiles and Tejas which is an Indian, he cannot carry the nuclear, but he is capable to carry all other different kind of missile. So, all these aircraft can carry an attack missile in the air, can attack I said uh, aircraft in the air of enemy it can attack the drone or anything and anything on the surface. So, here it is I said that uh, the job of radar, radar is identifying through the radio waves identifying the identifying identifying targets with the help of identifying targets with the help of radio waves. So, they are sending radio waves or after striking it these radio waves return back. So, the, we are able to find oh, here it is and then our system get ready and strike the target. If I say that my radar is able to identify this aircraft the suddenly in milliseconds this uh, frequency will return back and our target get ready and then our missile will get ready and the target will be hit. It. So, this is the way that we can be able to say that uh, air to air missile will be walking and they are especially I said that uh, Astra, Mika and Meteor and especially Scalp. So, these are I said that different kind of I said that missiles are there. So, Astra missile air to air means I said uh, AM Astra missile it can have an a range from the 20 kilometer to 110 kilometer and it can be another is a Mika it will be similarly 20 to 100 kilometer around 10 like 110 and uh, it is in a beyond visual range air to air to air missile it can walk in all weather condition and uh, this is the similarly it is in a B V R A A M ok. And uh, another if I am talking about uh, Mika if I say that it is an I said that it is an also considered as an a not uh, it is a uh, considered as air to air missile, but it is also considered as an a quick reaction quick reaction air to air missile. So, it also strike any target very fast, very fast it is also it is in a quick reaction air to air missile means it to strike the target very fast also. So, if I am talking about it is I said that Astra it is under the air force, but this Mika has been formed for also I said that army that is for the land that this missile can be from the land we can target means uh, surface to air it can also act as a surface to air it, it is also in the navy it can be also target from the ship to air. 
So, from the ship in the sea to air. So, Mika is this property. So, perhaps uh, Astra and Mika is clear to you. Astra and Mika is clear to you. It has an uh, around range, it is an it can be 30 kilometer, 40 kilometer, 50 kilometer, 60 kilometer, 90 kilometer. It will be a different kind of variance will be within this Astra, Mika. These are the two different types of important types of I said that uh, uh, I said air to air missile and here it is uh, it uh, the um, uh, it is a beyond visual range. Pali I already I have said it is all weather condition it will work. It is in the air force already air to air miss air force, but uh, Mika is uh, in the air force also. 2210 BVRM and it is also known as quick reaction air force and it walk in all weather, all weather and it is an army version also and the navy version also. This is I said that Mika. Another it is I said that we have taken from the outside this is a meteor and a scalp. Meteor and a scalp, its range is 160 kilometer and it is in a B V R A A M meteor and it is also all weather condition. A scalp it is 300 kilometer and it is B V R A A M and all weather condition it will work. So, we have seen air to air missile it is I said that it is also air to surface it is also air to ship we can target. And there are I said that Astra AM Astra Mika Meteor AM means Astra Mika Mayor Meteor and uh, another it is a scalp missile Astra 200 to 110 kilometer it is BVRM all weather air force and Mika you have been able to see all the 200 to 100 or 10 or 120 kilometer BVRAM. It is a QRAM also the reason behind it is a quick reaction fast reply and 100 percent accuracy and the army version is also there and navy version is also there of Mika and uh, here we have I said that uh, meteor and scalp. It is only in the I said that air force, air force only Mika is the version which is uh, not only in air force it is also in the army and then navy. So, we have been able to see air to air missiles and uh, it is not air to air, air to surface, air to sea. Now, these are the missiles we have been able to see like here it is Astra, Mika, Meteor and Scalp. Now, there it is in a C2 air already we have seen uh, like a K series submarine launched, I said submarine launched. And the C2 air if I have to say the most important C2 air and better to say also surface to air both there is an, uh, one variant and it is a very high quality and its name is Barak 8, Barak 8, Barak missile. I will show you the animation of it. So, next that it is I said uh, C2 air or surface to air and it is also known as uh, I said that it is also known as uh, anti missile defense system anti missile defense system means it can also strike any other missile if it has been targeted. So, I said that C2 air surface to air and anti missile defense system. So, if I am talking about sea to air and surface to air its name is the most important it is Barak 8 and it is of, uh, with the help of India and Israel. These are the two country who has made it Barak 8 and Barak in their language in Israel and there, there is an, these are the Jews and in their language Barak means lightning and lightning you know that how fast lightning moves. During the thundering 
the lightning is in a what I said that how fast it moves the same kind of it Barak 8 works. This is I said that uh, uh, there is the two types of I said that one uh, sheep is there and another sheep is there the two types of sheep it is I said that uh, INS we can say that uh, it is a destroyer and another it is an uh, INS frigates Indian naval ship K destroyer and frigates. Is ki weight destroyer ki weight lag bag I said that 5000 to 10,000 ton and one it is in a frigate weight is I said that uh, frigate weight is around uh, 3000 to 5000 ton means these are the ships in the ocean these are the ships in the ocean frigate and uh, this is I said that destroyer it is bigger and it is I said that frigate I will discuss in the I said uh, when I will do the navy section. So, if I say that this is in a destroyer and the destroyer will have I said that uh, large amount of I said that there will be a radar and uh, you can say that uh, this destroyer can have a system here and there is a system from where the barak 8 will can be launched vertically and brahmos means uh, if I am talking about uh, who fights which ship which Indian navy ship fights in during the war or battle these are the destroyer these are the destroyer and I said that frigate the destroyer can carry lots of missile and frigate can carry less missile comparatively understood and destroyer and frigates they used to fast uh, fight but frigate generally along the coast and destroyer into the deep sea if there is a war is taking place in the I said the uh, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. So, along the coast along the coast who will be active frigates and in the deep sea destroyer will active destroyer and uh, all both have I said that uh, a good radar system and then large amount of I said that uh, they will have uh, I said um, uh, missiles who can destroy anything. So, let us go and see about uh, I said that Barak 8. This is your I said that uh, ship and this is a destroyer. This is your what I said that destroyer and it has an I said that radar system are there and uh, And here if we see that there is a there is an I said that system and below there is a lots of I said that several missile rakhawa several missiles and these missiles are coming out vertically. So, the what is Barak 8? Barak 8 is I said that from the sea to air it can work and also from the surface to air and here it comes up vertically this is in a missile this is an I said that Barak 8 missile this is I said that Barak 8 missile it comes up vertically and then turn and then strike their target strike target. So, Barat it comes out vertically it is very much important if it comes out vertically then it is easy to come out and then strike the target and then let us see that uh, this is I said uh,
if I say that this is our India and here we have I said that our destroyer and I said uh, and this is the Pakistan side and uh, and here we have an a Barak 8 has to come. So, what I am saying that uh, what is its capability of Barak? What is the capability of the Barak is if suppose from the Pakistan side there is an a one I said that who is coming it is I said uh, aircraft is coming and another it is in a missile. So, this aircraft is coming with the missile and both are I said that uh, coming toward the ship they are coming toward the ship there is an aircraft and aircraft has launched a missile and this side also Chinese missile. So, from the all the sites suppose China has also attacked and then from there I said that missile and then uh, uh, aircraft and also that some aircraft from the uh, Pakistan side they are also carrying a missile. So, what will happen our Barakat will come up and it will go and one uh, our Barak 8 will come up our Barak will come up and it is in the strike and it will go and at the same time in a very fast lightning it is come above and it will strike the target of missile and also it will come up and it will strike the target of I said that Chinese missile it is very fast it is active. So, Barak 8 is, is it is one of the I said that best I said that uh, it is an anti defense air missile system also it can attack missile it can attack aircraft it can attack anything and even in the sea. So, the because of this uh, the dis dis destroyer which are carrying this is our destroyer who is carrying Barak 8. So, Barak 8 has high capability suppose they are the three ship of India and uh, they can easily if Barak uh, the I said that three ships in, in of India. Suppose I said uh, this is our India and uh, one ship of India is here and one ship of India is here and another ship of India is here. So, they also work together they can also work together as a team and thereafter they can destroy anything means lots of missile they are targeting everywhere. So, the this I said that uh, our INS can work in I said that team and then Barakat can launch and they destroy anything which are coming to target. So, if anybody is coming to target this destroyer they will all itself coming out and the radar will be able to find and they can Chinese missile or Pakistani missile whosoever is there this is the capability of Barak 8. Yes, we should try to remember beta, we should try to remember and I am trying to remember you also. Q R A A M it is Q means quick reaction, Q R A A M means quick reaction, quick reaction, quick reaction air to air missile. not altitude of the aircraft it depends upon I said that how much fuel and uh, how much speed it has been given that much if I am throwing something slow and throwing something fast it depends upon then how much how much far it can go yes or not. So, these are the things are there let us see in the I said that uh, Barak 8 how do the Barak 8 works watch this animation and uh, Barak missile developed through the collaboration of India and I said that Israel. So, these are the our destroyer destroyer and they are carrying they are carrying our I said that it is a uh, Barak 8 and Barak 8 can carry and it is it can destroy any enemy aircraft it can destroy any I said that uh, uh, 
uh, aircraft missiles ek ship only one destroyer is very much sufficient to any kind of attack may be ballistic missile may be cruise missile any kind of aircraft and anything who is coming in the range of uh, towards the destroyer of india they will target and ultimately suppose i said that pakistani is sending this missile and also the pakistani is sending their i said that aircraft this is the aircraft this is the missile then our indian navy radar detected them and then barak missile will come up and they will destroy and it will they, let us see it will come up vertically and then you know, take a target and then uh, it will i said that uh, it will turn and take the target and destroy each and everything whether it is a missile whether it is in a ballistic missile whether it is a cruise missile whatever the different types of missile it it, it will uh, hit it it can work in the joint task force means if there are the two or three ships in the sea in the arabian sea there are the two three destroyer ship is there so they can work together and also easily defeat the enemy with the help of barak with the help of barak so the barak is one of the best i said that i said uh, surface to uh, i or sea to air missile also surface to air missile and it can target in the range of 100 km and recently we are going to get 150 km range also this is barak 8 from anywhere large number of aircrafts if it is coming and their missiles are coming then they can target they can target the missile they can target the aircraft barak 8 so high accuracy it has you can see that it is i said that it is in a vertical if it is a vertical one and it comes i said that and uh, it comes out vertically and it is able to move into the air and at the same time you can say it only if any missile is 500 find 500 meter closer to the ship destroyer ship even it can target and hit it with the high accuracy even it can target and hit it with high accuracy this is the i said that barak 8 so barak 8 has a very high i said that accuracy in comparison to i said that any c2 air missile if i am watching so i said uh, this is your barak 8 it can be launched from the sea it can be launched from the surface also barak 8 and the barak means it is in a habri word of israel that is lightning it is i said that a medium range surface to air missile and it is a long range surface to air missile meet it can be up to 100 km and it can be somewhere a long range surface to air missile i am not talking about ballistic missile so it is up to the 150 km also it is formed with the help of india and israel clear hai so it has an a capability to strike anything it is an i said that helicopter aircraft any anti ship uav unmanned air vehicle miss any aircraft it is unmanned air vehicle miss aircraft does not uh, the pilotless aircraft there is no pilot inside the aircraft it is known as unmanned air vehicle so and it can be a, like a drone also the unmanned air vehicle and everything and the ballistic missile cruise missile any jets or anything they can be attacked and it is also marine based from the sea and it can be also land so that barak it is of the two version it is in the navy also and it is in the naval version and in the army version also so we have been able to see barak 8 and it has a very good capability in anywhere and uh, i said that it is c2 air and c surface to air and uh, its range is i said that in the range of uh, 500 meter 500 meter to 100 km and also we are recently going to get up to 100 feet km recently we will get it so this is i said that barak 8 and it is i said that it can be on a long range surface to c2 air missile and it can be i said that uh, is short range c2 air missile or surface to air missile 
So, this is the bracket and we have got it from Israel, not got it from Israel, but it is with the help of what I said the collaboration the both the Indian scientist and then I said that scientist from the what I said. Um, uh, what we can say that Israel both we have prepared this. So, this is about the Barak 8. that it is will have to make it like uh, below there will be a torpedo below below the ocean if it is inside the water and there is in a ship is there then below we can uh, if somebody if there is in a submarine below if it is in a submarine below then we can target with the torpedo we can target with the any i said that coming from the sea and if they are also releasing something then we can release some torpedo. So, this is the way, but in the air if I am talking about this way it is Barak 8. No, Barak 8 only it is targeting the air a, anything it is in the air. Killer. For the below already we have the torpedo who can target and also we can be able to target I said that earlier from the sea who is working submarine launch that is in a K 15 and K 4 K 15 it is a Sagarika from the submarine that they can destroy within the sea and then outside of the sea. Submarine launch ballistic missile that is sufficient to, to uh, our submarine if our Indian submarine is there. So, it will be better to target uh, them by our Indian submarine and they can have a Sagarika, they can have an I said that K 4. So, if something is I said that we are first initially we try to target with the torpedo, torpedo if it wants to strike torpedo is an also uh, it is in a kind of explosive uh, uh, device which can explode these things also. So, the torpedo otherwise we will think of Sagarika or K 4 from the our INS Arihan submarine. So, we have been able to see like I said uh, today we have seen till now the few things like I said uh, I said that air to surface to air missile and uh, we live in surface and we become in air when there is an I said that ATM, A4 I said that Akas, T4 Trishul, M4 Matri. Akas is for the 3 say 3 square means 9 kilometer range and that is 30 kilometer range Akas. And uh, we can be able to say like Akas is I said uh, there is a land version also. there is a land version and also naval version. So, in the land means army. So, naval version has been rejected and therefore, with the help of French we developed Matri and Trishul is I said that our naval version. So, this is in a surface to air missile. So, we have been able to see this and thereafter we have moved towards I said that uh, air to air missile and that will be launched uh, with the help of that is air to air missile it can be air to surface or it can be air to sea. These are I said that in the morning time AM may air air we get simply you can remember like this A4 Astra, A4 Matri, M4 Matri, M4 Matior and thereafter the last one you should remember is scalp easily AM air to air and it is Astra missile you can be able to see like I said that. Uh, it is 220 to 110 kilometer, 20 to 110 kilometer easily you can remember and uh, thereafter once or twice if you will revise. Revision makes your content to be better. It is BVRM, BV, 
R A A M means beyond visual range air to air missile and it is I said that uh, all weather condition, all weather condition math 3 it is I said that also B V R A M all weather and at the same time it is in the naval version also and it is also in the what I said that uh, Astra is an air to air means air force all are in the air force and it is in a but uh, Mathri is a naval version also and also we have an a what uh, land version miss army. Meteor it is I said that uh, 160 kilometer simple 210, 210 and 160 and BVRM, BVRM all weather ev in every one you have to write and then BVRM and then all weather. This is 300 kilometer scalp BVRM and it is I said that uh, all weather condition and all are in the air force, but Matri is not only in air force it is in the this one. Thereafter I discuss with you I said that Barak 8 simple. So, Barak 8 it is uh, C 2 air and uh, it is also known as surface to air uh, uh, short range and long range one it is up to the 100 kilometer 150 kilometer and it is in a very high quality if I am talking about. Another that we are going to see the missile which can be launched from missile yaad ho gaya hoga, surface to air ATM you are on the surface you come into the air ATM Akash, Trisul, Maitri and air to air means you are getting better air in the AM, Astra, Maitri, Astra, Mika, Astra, Mika and um, uh, meteor and scalp. Missile which can be launched from land, air and sea and these are at present we can say that cruise missile and better to say that uh, Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2 and Nirbhay. <coughs> Killer? Air to air it is Mika beta, air to air it is Mika. sorry air to air it is Mika air to air it is Mika bade bade sero mein choti choti chije hoti rehti hai in the big city small things used to happen so I said uh, Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2 and uh, Nirbhay that uh, these are the cruise missiles and already I have explained what is the meaning of cruise missile, clear? It moves uh, horizontal to the path, it can go to the 10, 12, 20 kilometer always within the atmosphere, it can move 10 meter above the surface all. <coughs> Brahmos 1 Brahmos 2 Nirbhay and let us see one movie thereafter one in animation.
so here it is i said that aircraft this is your brahmos which can be learned from water air and land it is from the all there is a brahmos missile its weight is around 500 kg range is 290 km range is 200 this is your if i say that uh, if i am talking let's first i have to see this is the brahmos this is your i said that rocket and here we have i said that uh, ramjet rocket and ramjet and you know that ramjet cannot have their own i said that oxygen or air so when it is burning thereafter when it will and thereafter it will be cut off separated and then this ramjet will start moving very fast this ramjet will start moving very fast so this is i said that uh, one important about the brahmos that it is i said that it consist of i said that a rocket and a rocket means fuel and another point we can be able to say like i said uh, in case of brahmos if i say there is a uh, one uh, this section is i said that rocket which burn the fuel rocket one is and the second is the two stage it has and one other it is i said that it is your ramjet and ramjet already you know that it converts uh, um, it, it is moving with the speed of supersonic and supersonic means mac 1 to mac 5 and here we have an i said that war head so when it started keep on moving when it keep on moving horizontally then the this rocket will get detached then only ramjet will move this ramjet will move along with the warhead and finally it will strike finally it will strike killer finally it will strike so ramjet uh, when the brahmos missile it is in a cruise missile and uh, it ha it consists of two stages one it is i said that rocket another it is uh, ramjet the two stages and the rocket is making the what i said that thrust and it started moving fast and this is i said that ramjet there after keep on moving so till the rocket it is moving it is known as a boost phase and when the rocket get detached and only ramjet and uh, you know that it is warhead is moving it is known as i said that uh, it we can say that it is in a cruise phase cruise means moving horizontally further and at a very low height so we can say that uh, one it is in a boost phase another is a cruise phase and one cover is there and yahan se ek cover hat jata hai if i am talking about when it is in a ramjet is moving when the ramjet is moving and here it is i said that warhead there is some material is coated with this material this material what does it do it is uh, this material is i said that uh, it's a one point is it's a kind of a i said that uh, better to say uh, material which can absorb absorb radio waves means it will come and pass through this radio waves and when the radar is sending their radio waves suppose uh, i have sent brahmos towards china and the radar of china is sending radio waves to detect any uh, missile which is coming 
when the this radio waves will come then this head will have uh, some material that is I said that uh, which can the there is in a paint kind paint painted they will absorb the radio waves and it will not return good quality radio. So, return they are not therefore, I said that visibility visibility of Brahmos is weak then the radar is not able to see where exactly it is. This is one of the quality of Brahmos is that when he started moving first it is the boost phase then in the cruise phase when it is moving then it is I said that quality of material which is over there and uh, that it is making it uh, I said that uh, not able to I said uh, waves are this uh, these uh, radio waves are able to come and transparent looking like transparent it goes away and returning back very less. When it is in a when the red, uh, radar is sending radio waves and then returning back the radar will come to know that this is I said that this missile is over there to radar how it detects the any missile radar is sending the radio waves and returning back fast then they can be detect there is in a Brahmos but it is I said that Brahmos what it does when the radar is sending radio waves the sum of the most of the waves are I said transparent and moves away. So, it is absorbed and very less radio waves return. So, there it is in a very weak. So, their visibility of Brahmos by the radar is weak and therefore, I said that it is in a kind of stealth, stealth technology. So, we can say that our Brahmos has I said that stealth technology chup jata hai it is able to hide himself the radar cannot detect radar cannot detect our brahmos radar cannot detect our brahmos one it is clear and at the same time it is i said that uh, why it is the material the first reason is material second reason it is moving at a low height so, radar generally moves and trying to find in the upper air not at the 10 meter height and the 15 meter height. So, therefore, we can say that the radar is not able to catch Brahmos because the Brahmos has one it is I said that uh, it is an stealth technology uh, the sum due to the material which is painted over there and the coated over there and also it is I said that it is moving at a very low height therefore, it is hidden by the radar. So, it is one of the quality of Brahmos 1. This is the point you have been able to see. The Brahmos 1 has how do it moves? Boost phase, rocket runs, ram jet, then the cruise phase, and from the this top something removed and it started moving toward the target. Brahmos 1. Another point if I say that it is an S maneuver technique, Brahmos one has S maneuver technique. Suppose I said that I have a miss, I have an I said that uh, launch the Brahmos one towards Brahmos one is Brahmos one is launched from here towards this region A. But when it is moving towards A, by the time this A came here, if they have shifted their position, then he can move like this and it is a hitting the target. S maneuver technique is the technique even after changing the target position that Brahmos one will even then it will target their position, target their uh, it will hit their target wherever it goes. This is the S maneuver technique, this is the skill, skill of S, it is one of the skill that technology has been given that uh, target to be hitted very exactly. So, this is your Brahmos 1 and Brahmos 1 if I am talking about Brahmos 1, I am talking about it can be targeted from uh, sorry it its uh, range is. 290 kilometer and uh, weight according to MTCR you know that this Brahmos one has been formed before the India was a member of MTCR. So, therefore, Russia ke saath gaya tha, 290 kilometer and 500 kg. 
So, Brahmos, if I talk about this is the quality of Brahmos, another it is I said that Brahmos. And let us see its speed is, it is in a supersonic, ramjet will make supersonic already you know that and that is from the 2.8 3 Mach, its speed is. And uh, Brahmos, I said uh, it is in a made by the Russia, India and uh, Russia. These are the two country get together collaborated and they have made like I said that uh, our Barakat has been formed with the help of uh, Israel and uh, India. Israel and India. Israel India and Russia I said that India may one river is there Brahma Putra another it is I said that uh, Moscow river Moscow river in the Russia. The, these two name get together and it become Brahmos. It became Brahmos. It is clear. So, we have come to know about that Brahmos has very high quality and the last point I am going to put what is Brahmos 1. So, and we can be able to say that uh, Brahmos 1. Now, I am going to summarize all. It is made with the help of India and I said that Russia and it is in a cruise missile, it is in a cruise missile and its range is 290 kilometer. Another it is in a weight that it is I said that 500 kg warhead, weight of warhead, war War head weight is 500 kg. So, and uh, it is a speed if I say that it is a supersonic and why it is supersonic we have utilized ramjet and uh, it is I said that 2.8 3.0 Mac and it is equipped with I said that S manual technique which can target the even after changing it, it can uh, it always always move in always move in atmosphere. It never goes exo atmosphere, it always move in atmosphere and from the 10 meter height to 15 kilometer or 20 kilometer height it can move 10 meter to 20. And therefore, it is an uh, it has an I said that it has a uh, better to say that it has a stealth technology. It has a stealth technology. S manual technique and always move in the atmosphere and uh, it will hit the target 100 percent India and Russia cruise missile range. And uh, why it is I said that 290 kilometer. First, if I say that why it is 290 kilometer and uh, it has been formed, it has been formed before 2016 and after that India become the member of MTCR. Yadi it, this Brahmos one has been formed after the 2016 then the range we can increase because we should not give other to technology. So, before 2016 and I said that we get uh, Russia has a uh, high range of technology, but Russia cannot give Russia is a member of MTCR before 2016 India was not member. So, when the Russia and uh, India is making Brahmos the range cannot be more than 2 300 kilometer therefore, Brahmos one is 290 kilometer and weight should be only up to 500 kg. This is the I said that because it has been formed before 2016 and we have started developing 2007 like this. So, therefore, I said that uh, 
it is a range is I said that it is only this much killer. So, this is about Brahmos 1 and if I am talking about Brahmos 2, what will be in the Brahmos 2? Everything same India and Russia cruise missile and this thing will be changed. It is in a Brahmos 2, it will be 600 to 700 kilometer because now India is a member of MTCR and then now we are making Brahmos 2. It has been formed, but it is in the test. We are testing it and then uh, 500, uh, it will be supersonic ke jaga kya ho jayega? Hypersonic in the Brahmos 2 and hypersonic means 7 Mach. It is moving in the 7 Mach, Mach 7 and it's still technology, S maneuver technique, always move in atmosphere and 10 meter to 15, everything is same. What happened, what are the changes in, what are the, first it is India Russia same in the Brahmos 2, cruise missile same, range becomes 600 to 700 kilometer, weight 500 kg same, speed I said that hypersonic, if I, and there is a using a scramjet, instead of ramjet we using a scramjet and that becomes I said that uh, max 7 and then uh, stealth technology S maneuver always more. So, Brahmos 2 is similar to Brahmos 1, but only speed and some speed has been changed and uh, range has been increased. Speed and range, speed and range, speed become I said that max 7 hypersonic because of scramjet engine and there is a range has become I said that 600 to 700 kilometer in the Brahmos uh, 2. So, perhaps you can remember Brahmos 2, it is going to come, it is not right now, it is not India is not having right now in there I said that it lies army, it is under the test, it is in a India and I said that which one, Russia, yes and uh, it is uh, I talk about uh, what the first line I have discussed thereafter. I said that it is in a cruise missile, yes it is in a cruise missile, yes it is in a cruise missile, thereafter we can say that its a range is 700 to 600 to 700 kilometer, means around somebody says 650 kilometer also and uh, weight is 500 kg we are not increasing and little bit we can increase also, but it is in the test right now. And uh, I said uh, another one it is and I said that is speed, it is I said speed is uh, Mach 7 and it is in a, it is in a I said a scramjet engine is utilized a scramjet and it is in a hypersonic. So, Brahmos 2 is in a hypersonic there is an stealth technology and there is I said that uh, S maneuver technique which can I said that uh, hit the target even then they are changing the position and uh, we can say that it can move in the atmosphere from the 10 meter height to the I'll say that 15 kilometer or 20 kilometer like this. So, this is the Brahmos 2 which is under the I said uh, uh, there. So, this is the Brahmos 1 and Brahmos 2 all it is clear, yes. And uh, another that uh, we can be able to see like one it is Nirbhay, but Nirbhay if I am talking about it is in a indigenous no other country. So, we have made before the MTCR, but uh, if any country is a member of NTCR, I said that without taking any help of other country, India has made an one, it is a cruise missile and its range is 1000 to 1500 kilometer indigenous. It is a cruise missile and uh, another range is 1000 to 1500 kilometer and is speed if I am talking about it is I said that subsonic and subsonic means 0.8 better to say 0 0.8 Mac. So, only that it is and it is also having an what I said that is stealth technology, stealth technology 
and uh, it is I said that uh, it is not S maneuver, but it is I said that moving from the 10 to 10 meter to what I said that 15. So, it, it is not we are talking about S maneuver technique or not, but it is in a stealth technology S T E A L T H. So, nirbhaya Brahma ji yadi aapke saath hai, if the Brahma is along with you, you will be nirbhaya from the land, from the sea, from the air, anywhere. So, the cruise missiles are in the form of India is having Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2 and it is another it is Nirbhaya. Perhaps it is clear to all of you what is Brahmos 1. I said that it is in a rocket ramjet two stage it is always. So, Brahmos 1 is completely ok as Brahmos 1 India small Russia and uh, it is Brahmos 2 India Russia, but it is nearby it is indigenous and uh, where you can be able to see like I said that there it is um, India and Russia and here it is um, cruise missile all are cruise cruise 290 kilometer range 600 to 700 kilometer range and here it is 1000 to 1000 to 1500 kilometer and the weight is around 500, 500 and perhaps it is 1000 kg and uh, next it is we are talking about it is a supersonic, supersonic that is a ramjet, it is a hypersonic speed. I am writing the same thing, it is in a hypersonic means is scramjet and it is in a subsonic and uh, it has an I said that uh, a stealth technology, a stealth, a stealth and uh, target hitting capability all are very good each and every one that it is I said that. Uh, this is about the cruise missile of India and it can be launched from the land, sea, air. It can be launched from the land, sea, air. So, in the destroyer which are in the uh, destroyer which are moving in the Arabian Sea, they can carry Barakat, they can carry Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2, nearby all. They can be carried from the I said that uh, land, sea, air. Land, C air. So, these are the things we have been able to see about I said that Brahmos and uh, let us see something uh, and uh, Yes, it has been formed with the help of and this Brahmos can be carried by the aircraft, by the ship, by the army, it is in the water, air and land. So, this is I said that Brahmos and then one it is in a Brahmos is, uh, is there, it is a small version of Brahmos is the also we have been formed Brahmos NG. This is your rocket and here it is your this. And here it is in a canistered launching means a dabbe me rakkar launch karte hain with, the, uh, with this is known as a canistered launching. Another we have also launched and it always move you can be able to see it is always moving straight. It is the boost phase it is moving in the boost phase.
and now the rocket has been removed and it is now cruise phase and it is an S many war technique S many war technique means it can hit the target even after even after changing the I said their position its impact means complete damage it will be a complete damage this is the quality of I can say that ba battle damage assessment is complete. So, this is your Brahmos 1 understood it this is the way that Brahmos 1 and the Brahmos 2 and uh, we are also uh, making an one small of where small Brahmos ng it is a very smaller one that we are also making. So, this is the capability of I said that Brahmos we can be able to see like and uh, the next point if I say that uh, let us go uh, let us see that uh, we have a Brahmos 1 another side we the China has S 400 Brahmos 1 we can launch from the 290 kilometer away from the target yes or not Brahmos 1 and who can launch MiG 29 Mirage 2000 Sukhoi 30. So, uh, right now I do not have the Rafael. So, Rafael if it will be there, but India is not disclosing uh, whether that Rafael has a uh, they can carry this Brahmos 1 or not. So, so many things India does not reveal in front of the in the news or media so that the enemy can come to know about S 400 that the Pak China has it is a 40 kilometer variant 1 variant 2 it is 120 kilometer and it is 250 kilometer. So, 3 variants are there 3 variants the China is having. China is having three variants and uh, this is the third variant. Now, you just think uh, Brahmos 1 and then S 400 is an anti defense missile system anti defense anti defense missile system and this is I said that taken from the Russia which is considered the most important and Brahmos 1 I said that uh, if it has been four launched if the four Brahmos has been launched the four Brahmos has been launched out of that somehow only one will be targeted by S 400 first it is in a 250 kilometer range. So, he cannot detect before it. So, I am coming with the MiG 29 and if I am 300 kilometer far from the target at 290 I will lift the Brahmos. Now, the Brahmos quality already know I am because S 400 of the China is having 250 kilometer and I just come with the MiG 29 290 kilometer away from the target. Now, S 400 cannot do anything after 250 kilometer. Now, it will come down and will start moving according to its position so that it can maintain still technology. So, he will <coughs> his targeting capability is hitting capability of their target is very high somehow out of four one can be I said that possibly Brahmos one can be I said that uh, destroyed otherwise three Brahmos will 100 percent hit the target this is I said that Brahmos one. So, therefore, and the China is somewhere saying that uh, I have a HD one he is a faking in the market it is similar to he has made the one I said that similar to Brahmos 1 HD 1 to sell into the market. So, that he can get the I said that revenue, but nobody is purchasing our Brahmos is being purchased by the other country instead of I said uh, uh, HD 1 of China. So, this is I said that uh, uh, HD 1 that it is uh, you know that uh, this Brahmo in Pakistan they have taken HD 1 and let us see how, what kind of the situation of the Pakistan is having. No better S manual technique Nirve does not have.
So, we have seen about this one perhaps uh, you have been able to see the cruise missile also the cruise missile they are the BrahMos 1, BrahMos 2 which is going to come Nirve is already there. So, we have been able to see this uh, everything we have understood what is the cruise phase, what is the, bo what is the boost phase, what is the cruise phase and how it is working, how it is targeting and uh, we have uh, also seen like I said that there is an S manual technique with the, uh, BrahMos has and even the target is changing its position if, even then he is targeting. The BrahMos 1 and BrahMos 2 has an S manual technique, but uh, is, uh, I said that Nirve does not have and uh, Nirve has a stealth technology, this is all have a stealth technology. So, the next that uh, we are going to see one it is uh, I said uh, integrated guided missile development program integrated guided missile development and this cruise missile is a guided missile means uh, I say throughout uh, its journey it is guided through the computer it is there yes or not. So, computer guidance is there, but in the ballistic missile it is only in the boost phase it is guided. So, cruise missile is complete guided and with ballistic missiles are not complete guided. So, integrated guided missile development program and uh, I said uh, there is uh, some projects are there project uh, indigo project uh, devil project uh, valiant indigo devil and valiant so in the 1970s India when it is in the defense sector defense ministry they start thinking of surface to surface and there it is short range surface to surface missile. They try to develop, but uh, this has been decommissioned this is uh, decommissioned and uh, thereafter after the project indigo then it is I said that in the I said uh, nine it is in the after this one there is a start of surface to surface short range missile and this is project devil and it is also I said that it was continued, but uh, later on stopped automatically no decommissioned project uh, valiant uh, it is in the I said that uh, letter uh, of last of the 1970s they are starting last of the 1970s all better to say the 1960 better to say this project has been this three project is from the 1960 to 80 these three projects are from the 1960 to 80 and uh, the first uh, project indigo it is an a surface to surface short range missile short range and decommissioned and thereafter project devil it is an also short range I said that later on which come in the form of Prithvi missile. Perhaps you remember the Prithvi 1, Prithvi 2, Prithvi 3 it is I said that a short range surface to surface missile perhaps Prithvi 150 kilometer Prithvi 2, 350 kilometer Prithvi 3 it is a 650 kilometer perhaps all of you remember if you, if you remember all this. So, this is I said that project devil has ultimately it is not been uh, uh, project indigo has been decommissioned, but the project devil which is I said the letter on visible in the form of Prithvi and then project valiant <coughs> it is for the intercontinental ballistic missile intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, that has been started, but 1983 in 1983 all this program come under I said that integrated guided missile development program and that is I said that uh, and it is run by APJ Abdul Kalam he was the head of it. Somewhere and by the 1980 you know that India has an SLV 3 means he knows that how to launch the rocket. So, from the 1983 India started integrated guided missile development program integrated 
guided missile development program integrated guided missile development program it come after the it came after which one project first indigo and it is decommissioned there after coming of project devil and this is i said that surface to surface i said that short range surface to surface air miss surface to surface missile and devil is also that it has been decommissioned but uh, surface to surface missile short range has been started it is visible in the form of prithvi and another one it is i said that uh, project uh, valiant and it is for the project uh, valiant that it is in the form of intercontinental ballistic missile means all the program later on come in the program of this one inter guide integrated guided missile development program and in the integrated guided missile development program it is running from i said that 1983 to 2012 and uh, its main purpose is to develop develop that is i said that patna p4 uh, prithvi a4 agni series t4 trishul n4 nag a4 akas these are the major concern and india has easily able to develop this kind of missile under the integrated guided missile development program so this is your integrated guided De missile development program and uh, 1983 and uh, because of this project valiant in a, that it is in a throughout the day and night apj abdul kalam who worked for the missile development and uh, therefore he is uh, he is considered as a father or missile man of india he is considered as a missile man of india he is uh, involved in i said that uh, after the project indigo after the project devil and uh, valiant finally it come into the well uh, integrated guided missile development program whose main concern is prithvi agni t4 trishul n4 nag and i said that uh, akash so we have been easily able to develop we have developed so many and it is also the part of it they, these are so this is uh, considered as a missile man of india yes so we can send a cruise missile from the land we can send the cruise missile from the sea we can send the cruise missile from the air from all the area we can shoot out this is the i said that uh, india can uh, i said that uh, do like this uh, so the land sea air and the cruise missile can be launched with the help of this and uh, you can say that uh, integrated guided missile development program it was conceived by apj abdul kalam to enable india attain the self sufficiency in the field of missile technology india should get its self sufficiency and it was approved by the government of india in 1983 and completed in march 2012 so the most five missiles are developed under this program are p4 prithvi a4 agni t4 trishul n4 nag and it is i said that akash so prithvi it is there and then agni prithvi three series are there agni five series trishul nag akash these are the important and therefore uh, it is an integrated guided missile development program 1983 to 2012 but somewhere it has been originated under the influence of 
under the influence of and the requirement of uh, project indigo well and devil and uh, i said that uh, uh, valiant these are the three projects which are running and thereafter it has been started and abhi when we have done space technology you know that slv3 has been started in 1980 it is in a four stage rocket aslv augmented satellite launch vehicle started in 1987 five stage rocket so already india started sending the rocket in 1980 means india knows how to send the satellite therefore it helped in the what development of i said that missile technology in india because if therefore i taught you earlier i space technology then i am coming into the defense technology so that there you can have a better correlation killer so here it is about the igmdp integrated guided missile development program i am just uh, going to give no uh, for the main examination how much 30 million dollar it is not required but the uh, money is not required money is not important concept is important concept and fact concept and fact is required concept and fact is required killer so now if i watch i said that uh, i am just giving in a one i said uh, idea about uh, i am giving an idea about ballistic missile defense system ballistic missile defense system so if i am talking you know that in 1999 kargil war which was taking place and uh, in the light of this kargil war kargil war 1919 in the 1999 during that period uh, what happened uh, one of the foreign minister of pakistan they are i said that getting back the pakistan you know that uh, finally they have lost this war and uh, i said uh, the foreign minister of pakistan have said that uh, they will launch their they will launch their ballistic missile which can carry nuclear warhead then the india started thinking uh, oh the 1999 that they are thinking of a ballistic that the ballistic missile to be what uh, launched in india and india they will destroy so that thereafter india started thinking how to uh, intercept ballistic uh, any ballistic missile coming from china or any ballistic missile coming from pakistan so thereafter india started thinking of developing ballistic missile in india and uh, the in the 2006 and 2007 india has developed uh, prithvi air defense missile system 2008 to 10 we have developed uh, uh, i said that uh, ashwin uh, or better to say that uh, uh, ashwin air defense missile system and uh, uh, or better to say i said um, another one in the 2013 14 we have developed uh, prithvi defense vehicle so these are the different we have and barak 8 is also among them so we will discuss these things into the i said uh, i said uh, this is the i said that uh, uh, we'll discuss this ballistic missile defense system asset and all so in the next coming class and then iron dome uh, system of israel and how delhi to be made an iron dome 
and thereafter we will come into the part of uh, I said that uh, sheep, aircraft, UAVs and all. So, uh, 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 tomorrow we will start with the ballistic missile defense system, I will uh, take the class only up to 7. If you have any doubt beta you can ask question. So, just I am revising what we have done, I said that I have started with the surface to air missile and uh, thereafter uh, surface to air means it is also from the sea to air it can be and uh, that is uh, seep to sheep means seep to air and uh, we have seen like I said uh, uh, like uh, surface to air it is ATM, it is Akash, Trisul, Matri, Akash, Trisul, Matri. 3 sul say 3 say 9 3 square 9 3 3 means 3 and akash is 30 kilometer is the uh, land version also uh, sea version but the sea version has not been accepted by the navy therefore the matri has been formed by the india and the indian drdo and uh, i said the french one and matri cam and uh, thereafter we have been able to see the matri is also very fast quick reaction kind of surface to air missile matri is also uh, quick reaction perhaps I have not written uh, quick reaction surface to air missile, Matri is also remember that Matri is also quick reaction surface to air missile and uh, then uh, we have gone for air to air missile, but this air to air missile is generally with the help of uh, aircrafts and the major aircrafts that India is having MiG 29 and uh, we have I said that um, Sukhoi 30 and perhaps you have heard these two names recently that India is talking about to I said that uh, bring it from the, uh, I said that purchase it from the Russia in the wake of uh, you know that the Pakistan, India, China some issues are there. Therefore, the India demanded recently this kind of this number of missiles and uh, we have seen like I said another point uh, <coughs> uh, we have been able to see like uh, air to air missiles and there it is in a here it is this air to air missile can hit air to air, air to surface, air to sea and uh, uh, they are I said that capability to beyond visual range air to air missile and uh, BVRM means uh, in any condition all weather condition they can hit the target. They have also one radar aircraft is having so that this radar is able to find where the different targets are there and accordingly our aircraft release the missiles. And the aircraft can carry 2, 3, 4, 5 missiles at a time, maybe 6 missiles at a time. They have an, uh, therefore, they are very good. And uh, India has MiG 29, Sukhoi 30. Just remember all this Mirage 2000 and the one it is going to Rafal. And this four name that I have taken, it is I said that nuclear warhead can take, uh, carry, but India has an uh, having their own aircraft and it is uh, Tejas. Uh, but uh, they cannot uh, carry work nuclear warhead and the rest it is very high capability to hit the target. And uh, now we have been able to see like I said that uh, there is an uh, air to air in the morning time AM may air to air, air is very high. So, A for Astra, M for Mika and I said that uh, um, uh, Meteor and Scalp. So, A, A for uh, Astra, Astra missile 220-210 kilometer range and uh, Another BVRM, yes, up to me, but I chuka all are in the Air Force, and then Mika is I said that uh, uh, it is not, it is also in the naval and it is also in the army that is the land force. And uh, there is an, uh, another one, it is uh, similarly scalp one uh, meteor 160 kilometer and scalp 300 kilometer that we have seen. And Barak 8, I have given a good idea how it will fight into the I said in the Arabian Sea and its range is uh, again 500 to 100 uh, kilometer and another it is also 150 kilometer Barak version is going to come and it has an, a very high accuracy. It is uh, in the Habriu that is rail ward it is have it is a lightning it is considered as and uh, thereafter we have seen about uh, it is uh, this bracket is C2 air, but it is in front that can be also launched from the land and uh, thereafter we have seen S. Uh, sorry uh, cruise missile that is it can be all done these cruise missiles are launched from the land sea and air and these are I said that Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2 and uh, Nirbhaya and uh, uh, 
and uh, Nirvay and all that we have been able to see like I said that uh, this Brahmos 1 and Brahmos 2 all the things we have discussed and the Nirbhay we have discussed and uh, thereafter uh, we have gone through the project uh, uh, Indigo, project uh, Devil and project uh, Valiant and uh, project Indigo has been decommissioned initially and that uh, it is for the surface to surface uh, uh, short range uh, missile and uh, but after that project day will come it is surface to surface short range missile it is in the form of prithvi we have been able to see and uh, it is uh, uh, our project valiant is intercontinental ballistic missile thereafter this program has been converted into 1983 in the form of i said that uh, integrated guided missile development program it is headed by the kalam ji and uh, 1983 started and we have completed in the two th 2012 and uh, we, uh, it is uh, mostly it is uh, developing like Patana, P4 Prithibi series, A4 Agni series, T4 Trisil, N4 Nag, A4 Akas. This is the thing that we have seen. And uh, India is uh, going to develop a ballistic missile defense system and India is now having the good amount of ballistic missile defense system. You are talking about precision position system. In which case, better you are talking about precision position system? We are yes, better. We are purchasing from Israel. We are purchasing from USA. We are developing beta. It's a, you know that it is not in a one day mechanism or two day mechanism or one year mechanism. It will take time. India is developing slowly and slowly. How many of uh, people are going into this sector? That is also important. Okay. Uh, so India is slowly developing into this and coming into this field also. India has developed a better radar system. That is you know that Netra. Netra is one of the best indigenous uh, radar system. Netra. So, India is developing in the coming year, he will be able to develop better radar. No need to go for precision position system beta. It is about the standard positioning system, another is a restricted positioning system beta. It is not required for you, so therefore, it has been removed. Only you need to know a standard positioning system and a restricted system beta. And in the standard positioning, it is for the every uh, people, every citizen can utilize, restricted for the some authority in the army and it will be utilized like this. Uh, ship to air means sea to air beta. There is not requirement beta. As far as uh, your knowledge in concern, I have said that. I never include this one precision positioning system beta, it is not required. Only we have to go for standard, it is not in the quality, somewhere it is written over there. But uh, we have to give, I said that importance over, I said, uh, standard positioning system and uh, restricted uh, system. Clear Priya? Yes beta, scalp is from the France. Any other question, anyone but anybody beta? Aap Google karke dekhna chaate ho, dekh lo, but I will suggest not to read, it is not required. And if you want to get the knowledge like this, you can go for beta, but I will suggest you, whatever I am giving here, it is I said that much better, much better as if otherwise you have to think over it, but I will suggest you to not to do like this. Precision, you can take it. Five hundred to hundred or hundred ten kilometer. Do not remember in exact figure. Five hundred meter to one hundred ten kilometer or hundred kilometer, you can say. Barak eight. Yes, Mika is uh, air also from surface and also from sea beta, Mika. 
Mika is specially made for the air version and it has been also later on developed for the land version and it is also developed for the sea version. High seas is I said that it is in a not 3 D images I have said better high seas I have talked about hyper spectral imaging satellite here I said that uh, it is able to get the better picture of even the chlorophyll and uh, even the uh, moisture in the soil. So, it is helping in the navigation even the coastal land area. So, I did not say the 3 D images better 3 D images it is a radar and then everyone we are not studying like in a scientific uh, features if we will go for studying high seas there will be I said that one booklet will be there for their what is the functioning ok. So, no need to go read like this high seas is for the I said that meant uh, uh, even the agriculture in the topography we can read it. Generally, when we keep on moving uh, 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 from the coming uh, from the evolution period suppose 2000, 2010, 2020 technology keep on increasing we started uh, sending other satellites and then earlier satellites when we have seen that it is going to be I said that uh, uh, less operational yeah it become unoperational that is also there. Mika is not cruise beta, cruise moves horizontal, cruise moves horizontal beta, cruise missiles moves horizontal, Mika is not cruise missile. Okay, so I am stopping the class here to all of you and uh, good night. All of you have all of you understood the today's class. I have made a revision also. Cruise missile beta. It is only it is it should move horizontal. Earlier in the when I started defense technology I said that it should move, but when I said uh, land sea air thereafter I have written cruise missile it does not mean that it is in a cruise missile, but we have said the Brahmos 1, Brahmos 2 nearby all are land sea air and uh, they are cruise also. Therefore, I have written there it is land sea air cruise therefore, I have written together otherwise it does not mean that the anything which can be launched from land, sea, air they will be cruise missile clear. So, good night to all of you, we will meet tomorrow and then keep on revising.